Hello, this is Shesha Chalam from Ashwagat at Mysore. So today let us understand the relevance of our Navagraha Shloka. A very simple Shloka in which we are only saluting the uh, seven planets along with Rahu and Ketu. So we, in our uh, culture, we whenever we go to the Navagraha temple, that is we have the temple for all the nine planets. So while doing the Pradakshina, that is the uh, cyclic uh, you know, around the uh, temple, we just have a three times we go through the temple, we go around the temple. So that is called a Pradakshina. So we recite this mantra. This mantra is Namasuriyaya Chandraya Mangalaya Budaya Cha Guru Shukra Shanirbascha Rahave Ketave Namaha. Suriyaya Sun, Chandraya Moon, Mangalaya, Mars, Udayacha, that is Mercury, Guru, that is Jupiter, Shukra, Venus, then Saturn, Shani. So we have all the weekdays lined up in the exact order or the sequence. And there is a lot of relevance to this. This is not uh, because of the Western calendar. This is much, much before the Western calendar which has come into play. So, uh, this particular uh, thing along with Rahave Ketave Namaha, that is Rahu and Ketu are also included in the mantra. We need to teach this to our children because first of all the weekdays are named Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday depending on these planets. So, why are these Rahu and Ketu eliminated from this particular thing? I will tell you how you people have included them in your life. This particular shloka or mantra of Namasuriyaya, Chandraya, Mangalaya, Budayacha, Guru Shukra, Sharirpascha, Rahave, Ketave, Namaha has to be implemented in our daily life, in our daily routine. And how do we do it? Namasuriyaya, the first planet is Surya in the mantra. The Brahma Muhurta, which actually starts the day at, let's say, if the sun rises at around uh, 6 o'clock, so, so we go around one and a half or two Muhurtas back, that is uh, one behind the penultimate Muhurta. So that is around, uh, let us say, one and a half hours, so 45, 45 minutes approximately, so one and a half hours, so 4.30 in the morning. So the soul seeking, the meditation, you know, this has to be done because it represents the Sahasrara Chakra, the Sahasrara Chakra. So, the sun represents the Sahasrara Chakra. I have done the uh, class on chakras in my own way, my own realization. I have done it. It's not uh, that I have taken any other form of chakras and uh, implemented it. There is own, my own interpretation and I do it my way. So, Brahma Murta, that is the time when you have to sit facing east, do your meditation. Soul seeking and meditation is important. This is not for anything else because it represents the Sahasrara Chakra. So, then next comes the moon. This is early morning just before sunrise just before or just after sunrise. So, it represents infancy. Let us say this is something like around, if it is 6 o'clock is the sunrise, then we are, sub, you know, this is allotted to moon somewhere between uh, 6.30 to 8.30 in the morning. So, we cleanse ourselves. We use water to cleanse here now. The earlier, it was the cosmic energy, the Brahma Murta, where the sun was uh, the cleanser. It was just about to rise. So next comes the water which actually we use to cleanse ourselves and we should eat like a child. The breakfast should be fresh, hot and easy to digest. So that is moon. And then we get Mars. So some people, you know, children eat early in the morning, but people who are a little older, they do not eat in the morning, but they do the other work in the morning, like going for a walk, you know, coming and having a good bath, 
you know trying to uh, enjoy their time in the garden so this is the moon and then you come to the mars and you can have a sumptuous breakfast you can eat a nice you know a little spicy breakfast it is good that you have to get motivated in this period and go for your job so that travel for your job or moving out of the house and going for some employment is the time for mars that's something like around 8 to 10 approx so then you have buddha mercury you learn and you earn both together students will learn and this is the time for studying the time to understand what you have to do today and the whole day is in front of you and you have to work so this is buddha and it takes up a lot of time in the morning where you actually put a lot of energy in your job you that's what i as i say you not only earn but you also learn in your job so earn and learn so next comes jupiter you work for your responsibilities you don't only work just to learn and earn you know just like that for your own self or selfishness that is buddha no it is not only for yourself it is also for the family so as a responsible person you do your daily chores in your job and then you have a lunch that is the jupiter's lunch you know there is some sweet in the lunch there is some uh, salad there is some vegetables there are some good uh, you know re- lot of recipes around so you can have a good you know lunch then you get this venus in the evening when you can have a small siesta a rest a leisure a good evening walk a good evening tea or a good evening coffee and then you have to spend your own your good time chatting with your friends you know sitting in nice places gardens parks you know these things are to be done in the evening then comes the nightfall just after sunset we get to enter into the saturn so that's between 6 to 9 in the evening so that's we all know what we have to do in the evening you have to go for your walk or you can do your chanting you have to sit relax you know do meditate or you want to listen to some music you need to have your time this is a good period of time this is the time which is called as the family time people are not using it for family now they are returning from job at 10 o'clock i'll just tell you what has actually happened and after this they should be having a early dinner no supper early dinner so that it will get uh, you know digested very nicely by morning and then the night fall is full and you are now at around 9:30 in the night where your primary sleep has to start that is your rahu which starts at around 10 so you should you will be like recollecting the day you will be recollecting the past events and uh, what happened the regrets of the day the happiness uh, happy moments of the day all this will keep coming to you and this in case you people you know have to sleep early that is what we'll come to that later if you sleep early then you will go into dreams these are all called primary sleep patterns and then your body needs rest and the body or the sthula sharira is rahu before that was saturn you had you know tired so that's why you were with family so now rahu body needs rest you need to sleep because you need to revive your body and then the deep sleep starts that's around somewhere at around midnight at 1 o'clock your deep sleep starts and that is ketu which takes you into the uh, subconscious and then your rapid eye movement and uh, you will be in deep sleep it's as good as saying that you are going through a small period of moksha every day that you don't know that you are existing on this earth the the next day you get up only then and if we are awake or we get to see the next day then we know that we are alive or else the sleep is as good as we have left everything even the body you know and roaming somewhere else so it is as good as the moksha we are senseless at that period we have lost sense actually not senseless <laughs> we are we i cannot use the word senseless and nonsense so this is like that we have lost our sense you know sensations 
that is the mind has shut down and uh, the brain is very you know very less active and it is also recuperating for the next day so now what are we doing actually we are not seeing the sunrise forget about the brahma muhurta we are not even seeing the moon moon period is between the 6 and 8 we get up we are rushing we are you know the mars starts the day the sun and the moon are dead so we don't have both the luminaries in our life now why our bad practices we sleep late and we directly move and we eat while we are moving we are not having a uh, you know happy meal we don't have the time for a happy meal we are given a time period where we have to eat our lunch in the day we don't have that leisure that we can happily sit and eat and within the lunch period we have get phone calls we see the phone we are distracted i keep telling the person who does not have good food peacefully not getting distracted only seeing the food and thinking about the food and relishing the food and the person who does not get a good sleep you know like a baby and a person who does not you know go for his uh, you know passes his uh, uh, stools or he clears his bowels easily and goes through constipation is a person who is not living life properly so you need to have all these three very easy you know good food good sleep and easy passing of the bowels so what are we doing now is that we don't have leisure we have eliminated shukra we have totally eliminated shukra that means in the evening we don't go for a walk or go to the park sit there and relax many people i'm not telling all of them have done this many people are into the race of you know survival it's a bad situation that the demand for today's life and living is so high that we need to work all ends out very difficult so and when the night falls we forgot about saturn man we are now coming back from office it's already saturn time it's around 8 o'clock in the night you come back home you are like i don't have time i have to get ready for tomorrow so you are having only some period of time between 9 to 12 so the rahu period when you have to actually lie down and take rest that's the time when you will open your phone you will see your whatsapps you will see the movies you will do whatever you know the recreational uh, <laughs> things like uh, you know people nowadays have uh, habits of drinking uh, and over indulging in parties eating late binging with uh, a lot of uh, junk stuff is eating junk seeing the movies so till 1 o'clock till 2 o'clock unnecessary speaking and arguing with spouse or uh, you know the partner relationships getting spoiled all this is happening when actually rahu is playing the role so you are active when the rahu is active so you should be active when the sun is active when the moon is active 4:30 in the morning 5:30 in the morning 6:30 in the morning you should be active should be doing your meditations going for your walk but what is happening we sleep when we have to be active and we are active when we have to sleep and this disturbs the ketu the deep sleep doesn't come when it is to be done that's 1 to 4:30 we need to be in deep sleep what happens is that we are in deep sleep at 6 o'clock in the morning at the time of sunrise we have changed our whole system we need to put it back in place or else our liver will start malfunctioning you will go into insomniac problems and insomniac problems will create a lot of issues with regard to our organs and malfunctioning of our organs please take this particular mantra into your life नम सूर्याय चंद्राय मंगलाय बुधाय च गुरु शुक्र शनिर्भ्य राहवे केतवे नम यू इंप्लीमेंट दिस हाफ ऑफ युअर प्रॉब्लम विथ रिगार्ड टू युअर हेल्थ नॉट हाफ मोर देन हाफ ऑफ युअर प्रॉब्लम दे वैनिश स्लीप वेल वॉक वेल ईट वेल वेकअप वेन इट इज required to be up in the morning 
So thank you very much for today's class. Mm -hmm.